Okay. Now you can see uh, this end game. Uh, this was this was actually a really nice end game. It's uh, very classical. Um, you know, it's just uh, basically the king and some pawns. Um, yeah, I'm up one pawn, but in in an end game, you can be up two pawns, and just depending on the positioning and depending on the moves, um, that th the tides can turn really quickly. So I had to play this carefully in order to win and, and for him to not draw, which could have easily happened. Um, so now I'm just trying to put as much pressure on him as I can and force pawn exchanges. If, even if it comes down to my last pawn against this king, I'm hoping that I can get it promoted to a queen and then mate him. Forcing this last exchange here, uh, or so he thinks. Now let's go. Let's look at that move um, again. Um, looks like a, a seemingly forced exchange. He obviously has to take it, which he does. Now, w now why didn't instead of me taking d3? Why did I avoid that pawn? Well, if I had taken it, um, his king could have could have uh, gone either way. It could have gone back over this way to defend this pawn. Could have gone back over this way to defend this pawn. Um, depending on whichever way I went. Now, if I went this way, he would follow me. If I went this way, he would follow me. And guaranteed. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to take either one of those pawns. Now, yeah, granted, I still had this pawn in the center, which I could run down on him, but it's possible that he could have defended that as well, um, because these two pawns are, the pawns on each side on the flanks are blocking each other. So, I opted for a better move, which is to now guarantee that I can take this A pawn, which you'll see how I do that. Uh, he, he now makes his move, seeing an opening that he can go take my F pawn. Now I take his A pawn. Now, from the, from the moment of that uh, exchange, or lack thereof, over here on uh, the C file, um, I calculated this down and knew that I, would, I could promote much faster than he could. And look at this. This is key. Now, yeah, my, my, my closest pawn here to, to a promotion is, is way back here on the, the fifth rank. And it's got to come all the way up here to the first rank. And my king's in the way. His pawn can run straight down. Except for the fact that my C pawn is there. The one pawn that I was up uh, this whole time is the one pawn that's going to save me. If we had been even in material, this would have been a race. He would have easily promoted before me and won the game. That last pawn just goes to show one pawn can make all the difference in a game. Now he's just going for uh, my free pawn. I move my king down to ensure that this pawn will have a free path and cannot be threatened if his king changes changes his mind and tries to come back over. So he takes my pawn. I really don't care. You can see we're even in material now, but that means nothing because look how far ahead my pawn is. Um, yeah, I don't know why he even bothered moving the d-pawn. It can do nothing. And now uh, you can just see I promote to queen. He's going to do whatever he can. I put him in check. Uh, he, you know, he's trying to move and defend. I'm just positioning myself. Uh, that's as far as he's going to let him move his pawns up on me. He's in check again. He's moving around. He's in check again, defended by my pawn. My queen is, so he can't take my queen. Uh, now he has to back up. And uh, I take one of his pawns. And at this point, it didn't really matter what happened with the other two pawns. I was going to take him down with my king and my queen. He just backs up, and my king just fills in the, the spaces he leaves behind. And his king moves around. I position my queen, get ready for the last move, and checkmate. And as you can see, um, this was I, th I thought this was a really good game. It was a pretty pretty high difficulty level. There really were no no overtly bad moves or blunders. Um, I just wore him down um, into the end game, and with a one pawn advantage, I uh, was able to get a queen promotion and beat him. So, I hope you enjoyed the game. Thanks for watching.